dear students welcome back today we will do few more questions from the topic mensuration and specially from surface area and volume of a cylinder so the first question that is question number 1 The question says the area of the base of a right circular cylinder is 616 cm square so this is a right circular cylinder this is a right circular cylinder suppose this radius of the base is r now the area of the base is given 616 cm square it is given that the area of the base is 616 cm square and the height is 2.5 cm the height is given 2.5 cm this is 2.5 okay and now you have to find the curved surface area of the cylinder curved surface area we have to find that is the question so first of all area of the base the base is a circle and all of you know that area of a circle is pi r square that means it is given that pi r square is equal to 616 now the value of pi will put 22 by 7 so 22 by 7 r square is equal to 616 so r square is equal to 616 into 7 upon 22 now we'll simplify cancel it by 2 now by 11 so r square is equal to 196 r is equal to under root 196 that is 14 cm so you can see we have found the radius of the cylinder which is equal to 14 cm now we can easily find the curved surface area of the cylinder because height is already given and you know the formula for curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h so 2 into 22 by 7 into r is 14 and h is 2.5 okay so 44 into 5 220 cm square will be the curved surface area and although they are not asked for the volume but you know that volume of a cylinder is pi r square h that is 22 by 7 into 14 into 14 into 2.5 okay okay 2.5 into 2 will be 5 14 into 5 is 70 so 1.50 cm cube will be the volume of the cylinder volume is 1540 cm cube okay
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द कर्व सरफेस एरिया ऑफ अ सिलेंडर इज वन थ्री टू जीरो सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सो इट इज गिवेन दैट द कर्व सरफेस एरिया ऑफ अ सिलेंडर इज वन थ्री टू जीरो सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर दैट इज द कर्व सरफेस एरिया गिवेन एंड इट्स बेस has a diameter of 21 cm the diameter is given is 21 cm then you know that radius will be 21 upon 2 cm okay 21 upon 2 cm so you have to find the height of the cylinder you have to find the height of the cylinder if you make the diagram the radius of the base is 21 upon 2 cm height you have to find that will be h now this height you have to find and they have given the curved surface area now you know the formula for curved surface area of a right circular cylinder is 2 pi r h okay so the curved surface area is 1320 Two into twenty-two by seven. R is twenty-one upon two into h. Okay. Now this two we can cancel. Seven three is a twenty-one. So h will be equal to one three two zero upon twenty-two and into three. Okay. Now you cancel it by three and then by twenty-two. so you can see the height is 20 cm and that is your answer the height of the cylinder will be 20 cm once again they have not asked for the volume but we can calculate the volume and the volume will be pi r square h that is 22 by 7 into 21 upon 2 into 21 upon 2 into height is 20 okay so this is 10 this is 11 and this is so 11 into 63 into 10 that is 6930 cm cube that is the volume of this cylinder 6930 cm cube next question next question the radii of two right circular cylinders are in the ratio 2 to 3 now there are two cylinders and the radii the ratio between the radii of these two cylinders Uh, is two is to three means R one is to R two is given two is to three, okay, and uh, their heights are in the ratio five is to four means H one is to H two is given uh, five is to four, okay, H one is to H two is five is to four. Now you have to find There are two parts. First part 
ratio of curved surface areas and ratio of volume so there are two uh, parts in the question you have to find the ratio of curved surface area of the two cylinders and you have to find the ratio of the volume of the two cylinders okay now what happens first of all let me draw the diagram So there are two uh, cylinders. The ratio of their radii is given 2 is to 3. That means if this is 2x, then this will be 3x because the ratio is given 2 is to 3. So if the radius of the first cylinder is 2x, then the radius of the second cylinder will be 3x. And now the ratio of the heights are given 5 is to 4. That means if this is 5y, then this is 4y because the ratio is given 5 to 4. So we have taken the heights to be 5y and 4y. Now, curved surface area of the first cylinder upon curved surface area of the second cylinder. This ratio we have to find. Now, you know the formula for curved surface area is 2 pi rh. So 2 pi. Now first radius of the first cylinder is 2x and the height is 5y. 2x and 5y. And then curved surface area of the second cylinder that is uh, 2 pi r is 3x and h is 4y. Okay. Now, uh, we have to simplify, 2 pi we can cancel, x we can cancel, y we can cancel. Now, we can cancel this also. So, it is 5 upon 6. So, you can see the ratio is 5 is to 6. The ratio of the curved surface area becomes 5 is to 6 and that is your answer. And now, the second part, that is, the ratio between their volumes. Volume of 1 upon volume of 2. So volume of 1 is pi r square that is 2x whole square h that is 5y and the second one pi r square that is 3x whole square and h is 4y. Okay. Now you see we can cancel pi. Now 2 square is 4. So 4x square into 5y upon 3 square is 9. 9x square into 4y. Now we can cancel x square. Now we can cancel y. And 4 and 4 it is also cancelled. Now, we are left with 5 upon 9, that is 5 is to 9 is your answer. The ratio of their volumes is 5 is to 9. The, the ratio of their curved surface area was 5 is to 6 and the ratio between their volumes is 5 is to 9. Now, in the same question, if they uh, say find the ratio between their total surface area, so that we cannot do because for to find the ratio of their total surface area, we need actual radius and height, not the ratios because in that case, we have to add because the formula for total surface area is 2 pi r within brackets h plus r. Now, when you write h plus r means if for this cylinder it will be 2x plus 5y and for this cylinder it will be 3x plus 4y. So it will be uh, it will be difficult to cancel them. So we need the actual radius and actual height for uh, 
to find the ratio of their total surface area. But with this information, we can find the ratio of curved surface area and the volume. Okay. So in the next uh, class, we will do uh, a new topic, a revision of a new topic because you know we have finished the syllabus. So we will do the revision of a new topic. Thank you.